Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica Well in between episodes I want to gather a bunch of materials to build the, the upgrades for the brown and for the and for the Cyclops was it? Yeah Cyclops. Mm -hmm. So yeah we have um, a second deficiency module and the MK2 death module and first suppression and yeah lots of stuff and more weather reasons and for the brown we have well the mk1 dead module which is as equally as deep as the mk2 for the cyclops for some reason and that that's everything new i think but there was something else huh. oh well what did i need for the mk2 module for the brown oh right i think what you needed was nickel oh you need kyanite for the brown yeah, for the MK2, I already made the MK1, which is as good as the Cyclos MK2, for some reason the Brown only has two levels. Yeah, Nickel is what I've been finding in this area, so that's that's fine now. Maybe I should make the Sonar upgrade. But I already used up all the Nickel I got, and I don't think I have enough for another computer chip, probably, maybe. I gotta turn this down if I'm gonna hear you though. Yeah, kind uh -oh. of important, huh? Anyway, still need more. Um, still also need Kyanite for the thermal reactor module. But at least we got that available. You'll be coming up on Kyanite soon. Yep, that's the plan. Alright, I need to eat and drink. Don't forget to scan the skeleton in the middle of the area, by the way. That's the plan. You know, I kind of wish crouching was an option. It would make hitting this thing a lot easier. What are you trying to hit? The marble melon in the, in the planter. Uh. I should have stuck with just bulbo trees, I suppose, and you know, lantern trees. They are a bit easier to pick to hit with the knife. Now, time to start moving. Right, turn on the engine. Slowest velocity ever, silent running, and cameras. Not that camera, top camera. That's better. All right, those things are a thing. The only thing that bothers me is I have to let go of the of the controls for the stove entirely if I want to. Uh, look at the map. Well, I mean, the map technically isn't in the base game. Yeah, so but I uh, open the menu in general. Better? Yeah. The map is just the main reason why I would. Well, at least I can sort of orient myself given that it's a closed area. So I'm fairly sure it's this away. Watch me be wrong and get attacked by a... <laughs> ghost Leviathan or something. No, no. If you're heading out... Heading out from the. Uh... I found the. the remains, so. I'm in the right area. Yeah, and then just head straight over it and across. Should be a path across there. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Always nice to have assistance. 
Right, so the only thing I need to do with this guy is to scan it, right? Nothing else nearby to... Yes. And so I should... It just gives you story. Yeah. Okay, I should probably replace some of the power cells. The interior has red lights and that's usually not good. It has a decent amount of power and the lights are still red for some reason. Maybe it's because of silent running. Yes, don't leave silent running on. No, I mean, maybe that's why the lights inside are red. Oh no, it's because you have the lights off. Oh, I do. Huh. Yeah. I probably left them off. It should when, be. A you know, when I go back and. Internal lightning was entirely off, and I cannot turn it on. But I have plenty of power. Okay, I did not mean to activate the fire neutralization system. Seriously, though, why can I not? Why can I not turn the? lights on. Oh well. I have no idea. For now let's just... Maybe silent running just prevents you from turning the lights on. I mean it would make sense. You're trying to avoid getting... You have silent running on? Yeah because I'm moving. You know that like uses a, a stupid amount of power and it wastes and it can set your engine on fire and you can set your engine on fire even when you're at the lowest speed? Yeah. Huh. Silent running is not something you use a lot. You only use it when you have to. Yeah, but in going towards an area you don't recognize, and that's a blue purple tree. Scan it. You're safe. You can turn silent running off. There's nothing that's going to attack you there. Yeah, there's a bunch of ghost rays, and that's it. But you should definitely scan that tree and read the description on it. Will do. And yes, silent running does turn the lights off. So I, I guess that makes sense. Why is the ship suddenly a lot brighter? Like, oh, the tree is lining up the inside for some reason. I even turned the lights off and it's freaking bright. Okay... Giant Cove 3 okay, Let me return to the ship before I... And replace the batteries of my sea glider Okay From here now Let's look at these two databanks First of all, Fauna, the sea, sea dragon, sea dragon skeleton. Oh boy! The semi intact skeletal <laughs> structure of a Leviathan class predator. There is clear evidence of massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe it was likely the cause of death, and must have occurred somewhere nearby. Damage is consistent with a high speed collision with a solid object. Oh, so that's the guy that, that destroyed the alien base. As they took its babies. Mm -hmm. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg laying stage of its life. Yep. Definitely. And now for flora, sea flora, giant cove tree. A vast tree encountered in a, in a deep cove and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. A shiny, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organism, in, organisms inhabit the notches in the surface. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan. Hmm. This tree appears <laughs> to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid 
Ponte trigo acción. En el branches protectan grau. Pro with them. Hasta ya voy a rey conditions to hatch. Can I grab an egg? No. Can I. It's Can huge. I go to Ponte tree? No. Oh. It's too big. No such thing. Oh, hey, I'm right on the left for 13. Uh, cameras, right. Well, at least they probably won't hatch for a while. Hopefully. I suppose I just have to keep going. Oh, I see the, the blue brine. Is that where... Yeah, the blue brine will not hurt you if you swim oh, in good it. good to know. Is that where Kyanite is? No, you'll, you'll know kyanite. It's blue and glowing when you see it. Yeah, but I figured it might be under the brine, so I wanted to confirm. No. Okay, I guess I'll just keep going then. There's really only one way forward after all. Hello, Geyser. I'll probably be returning to you soon enough. I should be moving at the slowest speed here, right? Uh, you're just going down. Or you should be... Mm -hmm. I mean, I would always be moving at the slowest speed just to preserve power, because it uses so much uh, power. Yeah, good point. I'm not going down yet, I'm still going forward. Oh, well, you'll see a way down I soon. I think I used it. There's another tree that's only blue after that, and there's a giant hill. Hill, Eel. like, you know, the ground just ends. Yep. Oh, hello, Ruby. I don't really care enough to go grab a Ruby. Should I be careful going down here? Um, I... just keep an ear out for loud noises. When you reach a big open room, yes, then start being careful. Okay. But you should be in a really tall, like, cavernous tunnel. Yeah, it... When you yeah, go down. Like I said, the ground just ended at some point, and I'm going down. That's, uh... It looks like a biter? No, not quite. Eh, just a different kind of fish, I guess. It's really dark. <coughs> it suddenly became really, really dark. Yeah, you're about to see where you're at. This is where I should start being careful and activate... Silent, no? No. no. Okay, should I activate the other lights? I mean, if you want to see... Yeah, yes. It's probably going to kill me, but... Oh, hello, lava. And you're in the inactive lava zone. Oh, boy. Is this where I should start being careful? I mean, it's... I see no, hunters, you, you, but... you'll know it when... When it opens up into a large cave, I would recommend building a scanner room right there with a thermal um, power source. Define large room. Big enough that more than 40 of the Cyclops could fit in there. Okay, so it's probably not where I am just yet. You're, you're in a tall, like, cavernous... Yeah, I still see the cascade of blue brine, and there's a few hunters, but that's about it. <laughs> and, you know, lava. I see lava everywhere. Hmm. Oh, 
oh, there, there's a different kind of fish. Looks like a... a I don't know. Um, I forgot the name. Well, it didn't seem too dangerous. It was rather small, at least. Oh yeah, you probably should be careful not to move, you know, closely onto the lava. That's probably bad. Yeah, it will destroy your stuff. He's very fast. I'm just gonna check them out because... Oh, it automatically switched to the inactive lava zone map. Cool. So there's a way forward to towards the north, and there's another way to towards the south. Roughly, yeah. Any insight on which one I should be taking? Mm. I'd have to pull up my map again. Well, I guess I'll be heading north for now. Because it just happens to be where my sub is aiming at, at the moment. Okay, so... As far as I can tell, you came down from the blue brine, and it should just be a straight shot to the big room. A straight shot to what? The big oh. room. And I just realized that the way to the north is just a dead end, so... I clear that up. The problem is when I use the cameras, I can no longer see the floodlights. So, turning is a bit difficult. Keep an eye out for Kyanite, because it should see it soon. To find soon. Like, less than a minute. Um, there's a fish that's... Uh, Stuck to the glass of my sub. Should I be worried about that? Oh, it's draining oh. your power. What do I do? Shields? Get out and punch it. That works. I guess I need electricity or something. Oh, there's multiple. Oh boy. And this is why the thermal power upgrade is so important. Yeah, once I actually find Kyanite. Definitely glad they brought like a ton of... Uh, you know, extra power cells. Okay, that should lead to... yeah, that's the only way forward now. Wait, are those... Stand up through the zone, at least for now. They don't seem to be doing much though. Hmm, weird. Camera... Of course, there's already more stuff to it. Yeah, they're absolutely everywhere. Yeah, I probably should. Like, I'm not sure if I should even bother with. I mean, I would bother with it because that's your... they drain a lot of power. At least until you get kyanite. Okay, now there's three of them at least, so.
you saw the speed on that, so stick to me. Okay. They don't. They'll stick to Here's your pawn, a though. Of them. They don't die in one hit, do they? No, just hitting them knocks them off. Yeah, but they just playing, playing right back up. And like, they just get right back on. Maybe turning off the lights will help. Not that I can see anything anyway, so... And this does seem to be the big room now, so... Uh, I would make a scanner room and swim your cameras out there just so you can scout ahead. <laughs> okay. Just a suggestion. There's no stalkers, so they can't steal them. Yeah, good point. I'm gonna... Also, there sh should be kyanite around yeah, you. Yeah, which is why I'm trying to get like close to the... Blowing... ...surface. It should be a blue glowing crystal. I don't see any, so maybe I'm not far ahead enough yet. As long as you're in the inactive lava zone, you should see it. Yeah, I am in the inactive lava zone. I'm gonna power down the engine. I said power down the engine. Yes, there's a lot of those things. I don't have Steam VR, so why would I launch Subnautica in VR mode? Reasons. Subnautica in VR mode would be absolutely fine. Yes, I mean, it has a VR I mode, so. <laughs> yeah, I know. It would be absolutely terrifying. I couldn't. <laughs> I could not. No. <laughs> I shit my pants enough playing this game as it is. And the first non-PG word has been said. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, My fine. bad, Ran. Oh, I don't have enough materials to make a scanner room. Yay! What do you Copper, need? Copper, table, color samples, gold. Oh. Well, uh, don't worry about it, just... If you see fireballs flying by you in the distance, dodge. I guess uh, at this point I, ju I should just grab the brown instead of go forward with the cyclops. You're gonna want to take the cyclops with you, um, but in the middle of that big room there's the lava castle. Lava castle. And you're gonna want to go um, inside. Of Yeah. I need to <laughs> check to test something out. Hey, Shields, do you get rid of those things? You do? That's one way to get rid of, of those things, at least for a moment. The fire neutralization system on the I other side, no also idea. useful. You had an idea, Billy. That sounds scary. What What did you do? No, I said I have no idea oh. where my ship That sounds like is. a personal problem. Weren't you headed down to the... Um... Okay, I'm in this... I'm in the bulb zone. Yeah, that's not too bad. In my Cyclops. And I brought my okay. prawn with me. Aren't you headed down to the... The thing? What thing? 
to do the um, Lost River. Oh, so Doug is just behind me, I guess. Oh, wait, the room isn't huge yet. Is it bad that I've gotten used to Spider Manning myself around no, with that's this thing? Kind of what you're supposed to. Oh, it's very fun. Okay, I'm not actually in the big room yet. I think. Yeah, it, it's still a, like a tunnel. It goes further than I thought it would. I just got scared when it was starting to... You know... Get dark. So it seems like it's this way. Should probably check it. Right, so. Um, map. Hasn't opened up yet. This is better I'm abusing the map just so I can see whether or not the, the thing is open or not. And okay, I think they are called hunters. They're called warpers. Yeah, they're called yeah. warpers. Huh. Yes. See, I'm just out looking for silver deposits, to be entirely honest. It's not a bad idea. I will fight you, bro. Bruh. You wanna go, bitch? You wanna what go, was that bitch? Sound? I will fight you. Also, I'm I'm almost at my death limit, even at even at with the upgraded cyclops. Yeah, you should be finding Kai and I. I mean, I haven't gotten to the open room yet. Also, I need to eat more bulbo tree. Hmm. Gotten pretty good at jump jetting around. Also, figuring out that you can use the grapple arm to Spider-Man is great. But yeah, just activating the shield generator for like half a second is enough to get rid of those things. Uh, you'll what find thing? out. Okay, I'm... Definitely in the white room now. I still don't see any kyanite. What is... What are these green... What are these green pools? I see another warper. Billy, you're in the Lost River. You know how no. you can...